working in Bangalore, right? He's on working on Abhinish show only, but uh, so he um, referred his brother also for his company, so for cross training purpose. So he's all, he was also saying the same thing in Bangalore. He and Gwed actually, so, um, there was no good trainers in Bangalore. But in Hyderabad, Amir Pet, you can find out many guys <laughs> for the short term training. <laughs> కస్టమర్ ఫైల్ i have uh, so as we see the example last week i have only the referential data here let it display yeah so i have the customer data here right so this is the referential data so i have the transaction data also i am taking the lookup file here to point to the transaction data so in the lookup file i want to browse the transaction data here record format i am taking the transaction on dml we browse this one as well transaction dml i am taking the key is the customer id select local file there <coughs> divi yeah yeah it is that local on. file select local yeah it is okay now it is working yeah okay the customer id i am taking here also fine okay so right so now for each customer uh, there can be more than one uh, matching record so because the customer may do the multiple transactions so we can find out the multiple matches for each customer so now i want to get all matches so uh, since i want to get a field name from here so the field name i want to capture from the lookup is a price actually so price is the one i want to capture from the lookup 
are remaining fields i want to capture from here so now my input dml is this one right so my input dml is the uh, this is the my input dml so i want to append one more field here i mean i want to add one more field here that's why i have to go for the reformat to add the additional field okay so this is what you have to analyze the components since i am adding a additional field here i am going for the reformat uh, reformat i am taking and uh, i have to create the new dml in the output okay so the dml i want to create uh, i want to enhance the existing dml only control a control c copy paste here control a control v so i have to add one more field right the price field let me copy the price field from here because i want to add from here right so i am taking the price from here copying and uh, open this one quotes edit so here after preferred i want to append the price okay so now um, right to open this uh, let me uh, some file name here open parameters open the transform uh write in the transform all the fields i want to map from the input except the price so price i want to capture from the lookup right so let me uh create a variable to find out the number of records in the lookup file because you know i have to capture all the prices right so before capturing all the prices i have to find out the number of matching records store in a variable define the for loop and repeat the for loop for the number of occurrences we have in the lookup file so now uh, open the i am opening text mode because to create the variables and all text mode is comfortable than the grid mode okay so that's why you want to open the uh, text mode so click on view click on text mode okay so click on s you can see reformat here so if you open the text mode in the latest version you can see some other functions also like log function group function and all so those are optional functions we don't use these uh, functions you can just delete all those functions if you don't use from the text mode but in this version you can see only reformat function like it's a kind of notepad only you can type the code whatever you want you can also create your own code from the notepad copy paste here also so you can do like the same syntax you can follow the variable i want to declare so you have to use the let keyword to declare the variable that is the keyword to declare the variable here after let use the data type of the variable the type of the variable you want to uh, use is i want to store the number of matches right you can take the long value you can take the decimal value you can take the integer value also okay i am taking decimal here i am taking decimal of Two I am taking here, and one more thing. If you don't want to go for the fixed size uh, variable declaration, you want to go for the delimiter. You can go for the delimiter also here. You can use the double quotes, use some delimiter, close this. You can use any delimiter. Okay, so I am taking two only because I am suspecting like maximum uh, double digits only will be there for matches. 99 matches will be there maximum. That's why I am taking decimal of two only. Decimal of two. count i am taking here count equal to 0 i am initializing okay so count equal to so for the variable assignment use the equal to symbol variable assignment okay so you can use the function call lookup count your your uh, uh, lookup file name is lookup file label name is lookup only right lookup file this is a label okay so comma and one more thing from 3.1 uh, version onwards so what you can do is uh, so when you are trying to type the code in the text mode so your 3.1 version has the intelligence feature that's why you know if you type the label here automatically you can it will display the label like uh, so how you are typing the code in edit place so you can see the existing keywords in the edit place right in the same way here also if i type l here it will display a drop down list there we can see the all the functions all the lookup file names we are using in the graph okay so that's why you need not worry about the labels also uh, 
because remembering the labels might be difficult that's why you can if you work on the 3.1 version onwards you can select the uh, file label from the drop down list okay so look up file comma and uh, the field name is uh, the field name i want to pass as the keys in dot uh, custody right that custody i think okay so that's it uh, this is the what is it uh, custody only right not to open this one is yes, custody only fine so now uh right so this is the structure of the syntax of the count lookup count function right it returns the number of matches based on this field okay this is the syntax i am not extracting any field i am just finding out the count only so in the count variable so now for the price i am writing the logic okay and i have to declare the integer also uh, integer variable also right let int i mm, equal to 0 okay so now out dot price equal to price equal to so this is the output field in that's why i am following the double colon as equal to operator equal to for open the uh, parenthesis for i comma i already declared here i comma i less than count close this uh, close the parenthesis use the colon okay so as per the programming language syntax you have to increment the variable also here right you, you have to increment i equal to i plus one something i plus plus you have to write here but here not required because the variable i am declaring i am using here right so will be auto incremented the for loop will take care of that okay but declaration initialization you have to do okay so this is the beginning of the black colon means the for loop beginning here right so colon uh what is that um, i have to use the lookup next function right lookup next okay same uh, syntax right uh, copy paste same syntax okay so i want to get the matching prices right uh, so that is why i am using dot price okay that means you know extract all successive or all next matching record based on the customer id if the customer id is matched extract all records here so but if you want to extract the thing is right if you want to extract your price should be the vector field because i am extracting multiple values here this is the general variable only if you see my uh, if you see my output dml here decimal is the general declaration i did here this is not vector vector field so this is only general field here i cannot store the multiple values i am trying to extract the multiple prices in the transformation but here i am not declaring the vector field that is why if you want to store the multiple elements for a single field your field name should be the vector to show the multiple elements if you are going for the for loop that means you are extracting the multiple values trying to assign to single field then use the dv yeah see a vector is like array like uh, what we use in yes, java array or something only. vector is like array array only exactly my doubt array. is like yeah uh, my doubt is like single single field that is single uh, grid will have multiple values or yes. how it works single yes single field only so, i will show you how it will display if you can see the a uh, value you will easily understand how it get display i will show you that okay. so how it display is okay, okay. the customer id is the only one title is also only one but you can see only one value for all these fields but this field you can see some kind of button actually expand button you will see if we click on expand button it will display all the elements okay for oh, a single okay. record i will show you that so if you can show that you will get the idea but uh, here it won't work but i will oh. i have one more graph i will just uh, show after this okay so okay. price yeah. should be the vector right so i am declaring the price as the fixed size vector now because here i cannot declare the uh, dynamic vector so i am giving some size as 10 here okay because the maximum size i have to pass here so the maximum number of matches might be 10 i am expecting that's why i am giving 10 only but if you have the more than 10 your graph will fail in case for any customer if there are more than 10 transactions in the lookup file so you are get, you are trying to uh, get all the transaction uh, more than 10 but you are trying to assign to 
vector array with ten elements. That's why you know you cannot assign the more than ten. Your graph will fail there. That's why in the latest version, you know, uh, from the 2.14 onwards, they have given the dynamic vector declaration. So how we, how we can create the dynamic vector is uh, open the square bracket here, use int keyword, close the uh, square bracket. Okay, delete this one now. So this this will work. This is one way of syntax. Another way is you can also remove int. You can directly use the square brackets. Open the square bracket, close the square bracket. There won't be much difference because if you go for this way, this is unlimited uh, length for the vector. If you go for int, this is the limited length. Limited in the sense you, you are aware of the C language limit, right? For integer, you can see 32,768 values we can store. I mean, the length of a integer variable. Can be 32,768 maximum in the C language. He in the similarly here also there will be some limit. I am not sure about the exact limit, but if you go for this kind of syntax, there will be some limit for the vector elements. If you don't go for the uh, int and if you use the array bracket and uh, close the bracket here, that means you know this is unlimited uh, size for the vector. Okay, if you click on validate here, it won't work because This kind of way was not implemented in this version, so that's why I am going for the fixed size element declaration. But uh, for you, you will see the uh, dynamic vector declaration in your projects. In case if your project is going in the vector, because there are very rare cases you will be working on the vector. So in case if your if your project is going with the vectors on some of the fields, so you will be able to like uh, working on the um, dynamic uh, vectors. Not fixed size vectors. Okay, so validate this one. Save the changes. Open the transformation back. Okay, so now I am assigning the multiple prices to a single price. Okay, so for the remaining fields, I want to assign the input values only. Out dot star equal to in dot star I am giving semicolon. Right. Let me validate this one. Look up next. Oh, sorry. Here for look up next, I did wrong. So key is not required because I already provided the key in the look up counter. That's why the same key will be used by the look up next also. Key I should not provide in the look up next. Okay. So transformation will say okay, but I will get some error. I will show you the error. So what the error is? Because the same code will work. But the same code will work in the latest version, but this version, this code won't work in this version only. Because you know, so my vector size is 10, but I am trying to assign the two matches are one match or four matches are zero matches. So always I am not able to assign the 10 values. So, but the remaining values, it won't take the null value as the default, because uh, uh, my vector field of size is 10. So, what it is saying is, while executing transform reformat, a wrong length in assignment for for i, i in the sense, you know. So, my i is getting, uh, my i is uh, iterating for uh, uh, two times or three times or ten times based on the number of matches. But the trying to assign two elements to a vector of length 10. That means you know my vector length is 10, but I have only two matches. So I am trying to assign the two elements only. What about remaining eight places? Okay, so remaining eight places, I didn't assign any value. Right, I didn't assign any value for the remaining eight places. So that is why you know, so it is not working here. But if you go for the latest version. Either if you go for the dynamic vector declaration, if you have two matches, it will work. If you have four matches, also it will work. If you go for the dynamic vector declaration, but if you go for the fixed size in the latest version, you have to initialize the vector first. So like how you will initialize the arrays in the Java language in the same way here also, you must initialize the vector before assigning the value. Then what happens is if you initialize the vector, a default value will be stored. In the ten elements, if you have the actual match, that will be assigned. If you don't have actual match, that won't get assigned because default value will be there. That's what we have to handle. So how to assign the default value here? Okay, to assign the default value uh, in the latest version, we have one function actually. The function is I am assigning here. I just want to 
like uh, show here it won't work here but i want to show so the vector field name is price right uh, so you can not here in the dml also you can use so in the dml uh, dml field dml declaration so here you can use the allocate function equal to you can use allocate you can use allocate -E, allocate so this is the vector function so this will initialize the vector to store some to allocate some memory for this vector to initialize the vector some zero value that is why you know so even if you are not assigning any value for this vector or if you are assigning the two values for the 10 elements 10 limited vector the graph won't fail because it will be filled with the default value zero value for the decimal okay so, but allocate is not available here so it is not working but it will work in the latest version that is why just remember the code i will send the graph to you okay so anyhow you are not required to work on this kind of lookup next function in the applications what happened to this one dml got deleted huh? right so uh, the same code will work just remember the for loop syntax and the lookup count function syntax lex function syntax that's it so you can practice this one on the latest version when you get chance okay so i will also try to find out some other way if there is any possibility because i couldn't find any other way to use this function here in this version okay mm, the graph will fail fail on the graph so this is about lookup next function so now we covered lookup function look up count function look up match function look up next function so remember look up uh, returns the matching record look up next returns the uh, look up next returns the all matching records look up count uh, returns the number of matches and look up match returns the status only okay so all these functions there won't be much scenarios there will be only theoretical questions like uh, what is the difference between the lookup function and lookup match function because many guys won't use the lookup next function that is why they will get confused so if they ask the question like what is the difference between the lookup and lookup next you have to be cleared so you have to say lookup returns the matching record but lookup next returns the matching status only but not record if you want to go for the if else condition if the match is happened one value else another value then you have to go for the lookup next lookup for match function another thing is if you want to separate the matching records into one flow and match records into another flow like how you are doing it in giant component in the same if you want to use the lookup look, go for the filter by expression i think i already discussed about this one connect the file to this one use the lookup match function in the select expression use lookup match function here if the match is happened move the records to output port if the match is not happened remaining remaining records will be captured by the deselect unmatched records match record this is also one of the interview question if someone asks you like how to separate the matching records and unmatched records using lookup then you have to choose the filter expression with the lookup match function okay that's it about these four function and uh, yesterday we discussed about lookup first function lookup last function lookup nth function lookup range function okay these functions are more than enough for us so now i will talk about second way of lookup because there are three ways to implement the lookup so this is also interview question actually three ways in the sense you know uh, they will ask you how many ways you can implement the lookup in abinisho how many ways so far we discussed only one way okay so this is called uh, this is called static lookup static in the sense you know if you uh, you are passing the lookup file you are passing the lookup file at the time of development itself so i am designing the graph now i must pass the lookup file here i must pass the dml here okay so you cannot leave this parameter you should pass the value for this parameter whatever the file name you are passing here uh, to use the look to use as lookup right so this file will be loaded into main memory 
right so this what the size can be size can be 1 gb 2 gb 3 gb also it will try to load the records into main memory only if you don't have sufficient memory you are not recommended to go to the lookup but if you have the sufficient memory you can go for the lookup by using the big file also but in case if the memory is uh, uh, not able to handle this file like my like our giant concept only the remaining records will be spilled into your disk right this is called let us spill is so we already discussed about this one so now uh, what i what i want to say here is uh, when i pass the file name here okay so when i click on the run button at the compilation uh, compilation phase itself your lookup file will be loaded into main memory that is called static lookups you cannot change the lookup file name here so once you pass the file name here at run time if you want i cannot change the lookup file name so you, you can get a question here so why i have to change the lookup file at run time because sometimes you know i have 10 files so because i have how many fields i have in my reformat okay so in my reformat i have many fields right so my requirement is for this field i want to map from my input only title i have one lookup file first time i have another lookup file cd another lookup file cd another lookup file so if i have 10 fields here 10 files i want to call here in the lookup 10 files i want to call so if you want to call 10 files here so if i pause if i want to use the done files as a lookup you have to take the 10 lookup files right so go for one more lookup file so like this you have to go for the 10 lookup files one by one okay so your memory may not be sufficient to handle all these 10 10 lookup files right your memory may not be sufficient so this is called static actually because you must provide the lookup file name at the time of development only so this concept is called static lookup i will come to dynamic lookup now so the concept i want to uh, make you understand here is uh, so what is static lookup okay uh, the concept i am going to discuss now is uh, ways of implementing lookup okay so there are three ways the first way is uh, static lookup right so it can be accomplished it can be implemented by lookup dataset component right lookup dataset component okay so now uh, the lookup file will be loaded into main memory okay lookup file will be loaded into main memory at the time of compilation at the compilation phase so compilation phase itself lookup file will be loaded into main memory okay you cannot change the lookup file names right this is the one way so maximum you will working on this way only in your applications in the projects you know so 99% of the projects will be using the static lookup only second way is as i told here if i have the 10 lookup files 10 files i want to compare from my transform component okay so in that way i cannot use the 10 lookup files here i cannot pass the 10 lookup file names because if i pass 10 lookup file names my memory may not be sufficient so that is why you have to go for a concept called dynamic lookup so then what i will do is like how we have the dynamic programming in the languages same way here also i don't pass the i don't pass uh, lookup file name at development time while i am designing the graph i don't pass this file name this will be blank this will be null okay so at run time run time in the sense i will design the code in my reformat component or any transform component i will design the code in such a way open the lookup and sorry create the lookup and pass one lookup file name load the lookup file into memory and unload the lookup file from the memory okay so once your transformation is over again uh, open the lookup right uh, load the load the lookup into main memory unload from the main memory so in a sequential manner one by one you can load the records to the main memory perform all your lookup transformation unload from the main memory right so this is called dynamic lookup so in the concept of dynamic lookup you can create the lookup at run time 
you can load the lookup file into main memory at run time perform all the lookup operation which includes lookup lookup match lookup next lookup count perform all the lookup operation so once your lookup operations are over then unload the lookup file from the memory it's called dynamic lookup right so to implement the dynamic lookup this lookup file component owns support because you if you don't pass a file path here it won't work the graph will fail that's why lookup file component won't help you in the dynamic lookup concept in the latest version there is a new component called lookup template i'll show you here you can also go through this component uh, when you have some time but remember just for interview purpose i am giving this 3d uh, but real time you don't, you don't need to like uh, worry about this dynamic lookup so yeah. so i am sure like even in my uh, i worked on sound files as of now so i never use the dynamic lookup because there are no projects going this concept but if you go, if you want to go it should be in a position to understand the dynamic lookup concept so use the lookup template component for dynamic lookup the component name is called lookup template okay so the lookup template component is also similar to your lookup dataset component only it is also available in the same location dataset folder only okay but here in the lookup template concept you know you are not required to pass the lookup file name you can pass the lookup file name at a run time okay so i am coming back to this definition here the second way is dynamic lookup right so dynamic lookup so can be implemented by lookup template component lookup template component okay so the lookup data set lookup data sets path need not be passed need not be passed by this component okay so you can uh by the component and can be can be created and uh, loaded and unloaded from the main memory using the below functions we will call these functions as the dynamic lookup functions okay so those functions are the first piece okay the first piece create the lookup file so the steps i am typing here right you have to use this code in the transform component so what are the component you are using so let us suppose you are using the reformat component so i am calling lookup next here okay so if you open the text mode you can see the lookup next function here right so before this so what you can do is you can use the lookup create function you can use lookup load function you can use okay lookup load function you can use so i am just typing the function names only exact syntax i will type in the notepad okay so once your assignment is over at the end of assignment use the lookup unload so this is what you have to call the function multiple times okay so now in the same way here also i am typing like um, create the lookup so for function name is called lookup create okay pass over lookup file name okay so this function this lookup create function uh, returns an identifier okay so this can be stored in a variable right so i am taking a variable here so like you can take some string variable also to store the identifier okay so uh, i am taking a string variable here string some id equal to look up create i am using okay so this identifier we can be used for the next function next function is once the lookup is created in memory once the lookup is created in memory use the load the lookup you have to load the lookup into main memory okay so to load the lookup into main memory you can use the lookup underscore load function use the identifier written by above function right load into main memory and then 
as a third step right so apply all your lookup operations all your lookup operations such as your lookup match lookup count lookup functions all your lookup operations okay so once your operations are over then fourth step lookup unload function right to unload the file from memory unload the file from memory okay so these four steps you have to follow if you want to go for the dynamic lookup the first step is use the lookup template component okay don't use the lookup file i am just renaming this one so let us assume this is the lookup template component so if you go for the lookup template you need don't see this parameter this will be something like null so okay this will be something like null actually so you need not uh, pass any value here in the lookup template by default will take null actually okay so, but parameters you must you must provide the lookup uh, dml because dml is common dml should be common for all the 10 lookup files you want to use dml you have to pass key you have to pass key is constant dml is constant but the file name can be changed okay so you can also see more parameters in the help file if you want okay so not much important but when you have some time you can go through this uh, lookup template in the help file key is mandatory so keep on disk means you know in case if uh, your lookup file cannot be handled by the memory because you are passing the lookup file at runtime okay so but uh, if you want to go for the runtime uh, lookup you know so what are the file you are creating at runtime may not be handled by the main memory in that case what you want to do whether you want to keep the records on disk or not you have to mention using this parameter if you use the true value so the access records will be reserved over the disk the graph won't fail but if you go for the false value all the records will be loaded into main memory sometimes in case if your memory is not able to handle your graph may get fail also that's why you know if you think like your file may be big file than your memory then you must go for the true option in this case okay so when i have to go for true i have some compressed files for example compressed files in the sense you know dot gz files dot z files chip files are compressed files so compressed files in the sense of file is obviously big file that's why you have to go for the keep on discuss true if you go for the compressed file okay so this is the feature given from 3.0 actually black compressed look of file compressed file in the sense the file which is compressed can be handled by the main memory okay so this parameter to write a black compressor in the sense you know so whether the lookup file data is black compressor so like if you set this parameter to true you must set the parameter uh, this parameter also true black compressor also okay so like um, so cache is not required for us dynamical loads the lookup from the main memory so load once in the sense you know specify whether the lookup file data is loaded only once okay so this is this gives a much performance at a time lookup file will load into main memory okay so direct address will be always true only so because it creates some kind of addresses internally for your lookup file record format is mandatory right so there won't be much parameters so only key and record format is important right so uh, now uh, the, the component you have to insert uh, in your graph this is called lookup template component so you need not to provide the lookup url here you must provide the key and uh, record format okay use these uh, combination i will send this document to you so you use this combination in the transform uh, logic to create the lookup to load the lookup if you have some uh, 10 lookup files 10 times you must go for the these functions there is no option 10 times use the create lookup function 10 times load the lookup into main memory 10 times uh, uh, unload lookup from main memory i mean for each file one time you have to use this function okay so there is a big story about this dynamic lookup when you find some time just go through the file you can see some example also for this okay so how the lookup file will work we can see some example also here right so this is about the dynamic lookup second way of implementation not much important 
but uh, in case someone ask in interview so you know about dynamic lookup so at least you have to explain about the basic definition okay so second way i cannot show you practically because uh, we don't have the i mean uh, lookup template component here these functions are not available here from 3.0 only you can use these functions okay but the graph design will be same lookup template you can see here you don't pass the file name here you will pass a key and uh, dml only you lose the uh, functions here okay but third way is also important very simple way so before talking about third way i want to ask you one thing here so i have a graph for example you know so if you see this lookup okay this is the lookup not lookup template for example this is the lookup only okay so if you see this lookup right so now i have many fields here okay so i have many fields but i am extracting only price field based on the customer id okay i am using the customer id i am using the price also i am not using the remaining fields okay so even though i am not using the remaining fields unnecessarily i am holding all these fields information field values in the main memory so this consumes more memory my performance may also be affected because of this file right so that's why that's why what you have to do so my requirement is i want to drop all unnecessary fields i want to load only the customer id and price amount into my lookup right so in that case i have to drop the fields so if you want to drop all these fields you must go for the reformat component to drop the fields okay so now i have to manipulate this file right that is why i want to change this file as input file this is my input now this is my, not my lookup right so this is my transaction file i want to drop the fields okay so now uh, take some uh, reformat component okay transform group reformat component connect this one to reformat insert output file okay so this is lkp i am renaming right i am storing this in somewhere lkp dot dat okay so open this reformat so this these are fields right copy this field and uh, paste here so what are the fields i want to drop drop all the fields transaction id i don't need these fields okay so and um, remaining fields also i don't need these fields also except price amount i don't need the remaining fields also i am dropping the all remaining fields so new line should be there last line character should be there save the changes right so now open the reformat just use the in dot star because i am not uh, doing any transformation here i am just mapping the all my input fields to output fields right so now i dropped the fields i have only the id and price here so this one i want to use as a lookup okay if you want to use the output of a graph output of a component as a lookup open this lookup open this uh, output file properties you can see the add to catalog option here okay so you can see add to catalog when you click on the add to catalog you can see the additional tab here okay find dinesh okay so i am clicking on the add to catalog option here right add to catalog i am selecting here okay so uh, select the add to catalog option you can see parameters tab if you don't use this option parameters is not available click on the parameters so if you click on the add to catalog you can see parameters tab there you have to provide the key what is the key you want to use as a lookup so when you click on the add to catalog so you are output file will be converted as the lookup so what is the catalog here okay so catalog is the memory area in the run host run host in the sense you know your abinisha cooperative system server so where your abinisha coop is installed that is called host or run host okay and under the host 
you are creating the lookup right so a catalog is the internal memory area a catalog is the terminology used by your uh, abinitio cooperating system you don't see the catalog but uh, catalog will be used by your abinitio cooperating system to remember the lookup file names and indexes and all in the same way here also if you externally click on the add to catalog option your output file will be added to the catalog that can be used as the lookup file okay that can be used as the lookup file right so click on the add to catalog option you can see parameters provide the key field name now you can use the this as a lookup right open the key parameter provide the key as customer id but the thing is since you are going for uh, this as a lookup you know so if i am calling a reformat here so let us suppose i am calling a reformat it will disable this one i am taking a new reformat this is the lookup next right so i am taking a new reformat component okay so here in the ports it uh, yes i want to get the price only right open the reformat one minute sir hmm yeah i am back soon okay so here uh, uh, I, the price amount i want to call from the lookup right so now i am using the lookup here okay so i am taking the price from the lookup in dot the customer id okay so map this one to uh, price amount what happened So this is the vector right so let me edit this one right so now i can run the graph so now if you run the graph what happens so this is the separate branch of the graph these are separate branch of the graph when i click on the run button this will start running parallelly this will also start running parallelly both branches will be running parallelly but what happens in case if my reformat is running before this uh, uh, lookup at run time it is trying to get the value from this lookup which was not yet created 
right so what i am saying here is since if i click on the run button here both will start running parallelly in case internally if this reformat is running before this lookup before this because obviously it will run before this lookup only okay before this lookup then what happens is it will try to get the matching value from this lookup in the transformation but which was not created because which is still running space that's why you know you have to hold this reformat component till the completion of this lookup file creation okay that's why you know you have to divide the graph into different stages you have to separate or divide the graph into different stages or different phases okay so that's why you know so uh, select this uh, uh, select this component okay select yeah, this yeah, component. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry output lo errors em vastaya errors so in case if this component runs before this component it will fail saying that lookup is not created but that depends actually i have very small graph here that's why see uh, while this graph is running before this graph this may also get created sometimes this got fail see so what is it, it is giving error error message is you know uh, different error outer price is null assignment this is different error but you know in case if this is still running and this is trying to get the matching from this value the graph will fail saying that lookup is not available right so man man execute chese apra ana priorities ivochu yeah that's what i'm saying i have to divide the graph into different stages or phases okay, okay. different stages i have to divide right to divide the graph into different stages stages means first this branch will be executed after this soon this will be started that's why you know select the component whatever you want to increase the stage or phase select the component go to this uh, tools bar uh, tool bar view menu click on uh, tool bars click on phase tool bar you can see phase tool bar here okay click on the phase tool bar you can see one more tool bar here right this is called phase tool bar select the component otherwise it won't be, it won't be enabled it will be disabled uh, stage select the component click on the increment phase button you can see increment phase decrement phase if you click on the increment phase you know by default all the components will be running on the zeroth phase you can see phase number here phase number 0 you can see here okay so when i click on the increment button this will be incremented to phase number 1 then what happens so first zero phase will be executed when the zero phase is over first phase will get started that's why you know there there is no concept of errors in that case because this will be waiting till the completion of this uh, lookup creation okay so now uh, another thing is you know so this phase concept we have a separate session actually what is the phase why are to go for the phases okay or what is the checkpoint and we will discuss in our uh, uh, further sessions okay but just to give some overview about the phase and to show you the example of the add to catalog lookup option i am showing the phase here okay go to your view menu select the toolbar click on the phase toolbar okay uh, select the component whatever you want to increment increase the component to next phase now run the graph okay so you are uh, this will be executed first and then this will be started i will show you the progress also let me set the priority otherwise let me take the price as null because uh, if there is no matching value well, my graph will fail the price uh, should be null here i am giving the price null okay validate so the changes real time you are coming concept i had to catalog you may have to use many times okay లైక్ <laughs> sorted components right sort component is there sort within groups component join in memory roll up in memory scan in memory if you go for in memory concept you know and uh, if you 
how if you don't have the sufficient memory we are using you are running all the components in single phase since the memory unavailability your performance may get degraded your graph may get failed also then you may have to divide the graph into different phases to allocate the memory right that's okay. why you have to go for the phases we will discuss about that later no problem phases concept okay. separate session okay so now uh, see i have zero records why you got only zero records oh i have given null here Sorry. So this is running now. Zero three phase is running. This is on hold. You can see some uh, uh, red color uh, fail. Transition side. So you can see uh, the matches here now. The concept is same. I mean, lookup concept is same. But here I am using the output of a branch as the lookup in another branch in the same graph. So this is called catalog lookup. Okay. So now the third way of implementing lookup is catalog lookup. So these three ways you have to remember. Right. Catalog. Okay. In use the output of a component uh, as the lookup in another component that is catalog lookup okay so this is about lookup concept the first one is static lookup dynamic lookup catalog lookup so functions are common in all the three ways lookup function lookup count function match function next function so all these functions are common in all the three ways you can go for any function okay but the way of implementation is different static lookup is at compile time you have to like at run time sorry at development time only you have to pass the lookup file url and the dynamic lookup is you can use these uh, uh, three functions to create the lookup load the lookup and unload the lookup this is the concept this is the different concept dynamic lookup is a different concept okay and I add to catalog is the third way of implementation you can use output of a uh, branch as the input in the another branch so most of the cases you will be working on the first way and third way only second way is very rare cases you will be using so even uh, uh, I'm sure like uh, many of the players not using this dynamic lookup concept okay so static lookup and uh, this one is important catalog lookup right so any questions we have in the lookup concept srinivas yeah in the interview questions uh, in lookup row uh, interview questions will be more like this is the one question how to use the output of a graph as the lookup in the another graph or another branch at look catalog option and uh, how many ways you can implement more i mean uh, in the lookup you will get the more theoretical questions only because there is no complex logic right uh, to give some scenarios and all there is no complex logic only theoretical questions oh. will be there lookup and lookup match difference and uh, they will ask like what are the functions i use in the lookup so if you see the lookup next function they will ask google like next function if you say like i have done only lookup function they will ask question on only lookup so what is the syntax of the lookup how to use the lookup this kind of theoretical questions will be there practically there won't be much scenarios because there is no complex logic that just call the function like how you are calling stream function in the same you are calling the lookup function but the difference they will ask so the same functionality you can achieve using join component and using lookup component also so when i have to go for the join when i have to go for the lookup you have to explain clearly if you have the files 
those files cannot be fit into main memory if you have the big files you must go for the join component use the join input must be sorted option okay and join the files get the output if you have the small files those can be handled by the main memory go for the lookup because lookup always gives the better performance compared to join component this is the difference they will ask okay because many guys will get confused in the lookup and join so the main thing here is you have to decide when you have to go for lookup and you have to go for join that is the only important discussion in the interview so practical scenarios won't be there here like join component uh, what is the key null and uh, uh, things it won't be there so here you have to understand about the functions only and where ways of implementations only lookup dynamic lookup me the implementations padta hai agar डेटा यूजिंग रीफार्मेट and how to get the matching values you join and uh, look up and uh, sorting the records so removing the duplicates so the next concept is summarization how to find out summarization like in the sql language we have the sum function min function max function right so in the same way here also how to find out aggregations okay our summarizations we have to discuss about the roll up component scan component these two will be used to find out the aggregations these two components okay so with uh, these two components uh, and uh, next component denormalized sorted and a normalized component so this component we never use because uh, these very complex component this functionality was given in terms of a simple function 3.0 version onwards but i will tell you this component also for just practicing purpose you can use but in the interview point of view you should not say about uh, this component if someone ask about denormalized sorted you, you have to say i didn't use the component because this very old component now there is no one is going with this component normalized these all the components we have to cover so one of these four components are over we are almost done with all transform components so we can move with the uh, parallelism okay so now if you want i will start the roll up also otherwise we can discuss tomorrow that's our wish aggregate component and roll up sort roll up the aggregate is the old component a roll up is the component which replaces the aggregate functionality okay so this can do only aggregation this can do another operation also because your roll up uh, will uh, will has the will have the more functionality compared to aggregate that's why this is deprecated aggregate is a old component we are not using aggregate okay so this is deprecated deprecated means this is this was deleted from the latest version okay the code everything will be same but this has more functionality than this component that's why you know this was de deprecated this we don't use this unnecessary component aggregate and uh, mass sorted also we don't use because the same functionality can get using join component this we don't use mass sorted also but fuse also not required but i will tell fuse also because fuse has a different functionality no component can uh, uh, get the functionality of fuse actually that's why you know uh, just uh, to differentiate the functionality of fuse i will cover fuse component also but this is not required this is not required this is not required okay and if you see the help you can see many components so we cannot cover all components in the training because if you open this uh, one see maintain salesforce recycle bin so we don't need uh, like salesforce components we have saas components we have so all these components kind of plugins actually whenever we have the requirement you have to open the help file just learn the component definition try to practice that's it because there are the n number of components like how we have the n number of functions in java language here also we have the n number of components we don't use all the components actually so the components which are required for us for development activities we will cover so there are some advanced components which are very optional components so if you want to you can use 
so even if you don't go for this kind of components also you can get the functionality but externally i want to implement you can implement that is your wish okay but uh, uh, we cannot cover all the components in the training right so that's why you have to go through the help file whenever you have the requirement in our project for the new component okay so right uh, print you start sim untara roll up rep start cheyadam dinesh kuda leda untadu dinesh drop ay poyadu dinesh drop ay poyadu ashok join avaledu indaku number ee ivval tho wind up chestam sir rep rep 2 hours lo round ayipothay problem ledu 